Hi, welcome again to another episode of Lawson Woods Pacific Northwest. I'm Lawrence, the host. In this video, in the series, we talk about living in a tiny house on wheels and also about the property that I own here on Puget Sound in Washington. So some things we're working on lately are putting in a septic system. And in order to do so, I've got to remove some trees. And if you know me well, you know, my whole goal is to protect all trees on this property. And unfortunately with development, sometimes you have to move, you have to take some trees down. And so I am going to be moving trees, little saplings and other trees that I can save and relocating them here on the property. That's what I've been doing the last couple of days. I hope you stay tuned and I hope you also uh, like, share and subscribe for more if you haven't already. Ciao for now. All right, welcome back. So I'll just show you a little bit of where the proposed septic field will go in. And basically it's gonna start roughly right here. This tree will have to come down. You can see that it is uh, covered in moss, but it is still alive surprisingly. but it is not doing well. It's not a very healthy tree, so I don't feel terrible about taking it down, but I sure don't feel good about it. <laughs> so anyways, I've already started the process of removing several of the small trees that were over in this area and replanted them, and I'll show you those here in a moment. So basically this large old stump and these big trees that are growing out of it are going to have to come down and I won't be able to save those. Which is unfortunate because they are descendants, I'm almost certain, of this big, big large tree that was taken down probably over a hundred years ago. So, but that is the progress of man. Or woman. <laughs> so here's one of the pits. And basically these are called perk holes. And um, so the septic field is going to go in this general area here. So I've talked to the contractor. And um, they're coming back out again to give me a full rundown. But basically I won't have to take any of my big trees down, thankfully, that you see out here. Um, I will, unfortunately, lose a lot of these medium-sized trees and smaller trees. So I've been trying to take them down <laughs> and replant them, but the bigger they are, the deeper the root ball is. And in order to transplant a tree properly, you need to get the root ball. And so it's not always possible. But a lot of the little saplings, like I say, I've already saved. And today, after I uh, finish shooting this video, I'm going to come back out and see if I can save any more of these little saplings that are here. And not just the evergreen trees. I'm also finding and replanting some maple trees uh, or little shoots that are started here as well. So basically, the septic field and system will stop right about here. So it's going to be this area here that will have to be sacrificed. And, you know, with a septic uh, field, you can't really plant on top of them. So I'm sure it'll turn into, maybe it'll turn into a little sitting area. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. It really depends on what it looks like when it gets done. But I have repurposed and moved a lot of the trees already. So getting into that, why don't we go look at a few of them that I've already repurposed. All right, so here we are again. I have moved a few of the saplings around. Um, and this is also to kind of help make a natural barrier for between my neighbor's properties and mine. So this one here, as you can see, 
And then right next to it, it's this little sapling there. Thankfully, it's going to rain a lot tonight and into tomorrow, so they are going to get plenty of rainwater. This is another one. I wish I could tell you the exact types of trees. I believe these are white pine. If you know, make a comment in the video below. And so, and here's another one here. A taller one that I was able to say. All right, so across the way is where I've replanted the other one. So let me just take you over there for a little bit and show you these other ones that have been moved around the property. It's a gorgeous day today, at least for the winter months. It's supposed to be about 55 degrees. We're not quite there yet. It's still 46 or 47 all right, so we're now on the opposite side of the property. So let me just show you a couple over here that I've moved and relocated. Here is another one here. And this is a maple tree here, although it's not, uh, not blooming yet. <laughs> And then, oh, I already skipped a couple. Replanted a few here. And then over here, I got two more. This one here, and this one here. All right, now let me show you the other ones. Here is Stone Circle, my sacred Stone Circle, which happens to run literally directly over the ley lines. And if you're not sure what ley lines are, we'll Google them. <laughs> All right. Here's a beautiful western red cedar that I was able to transplant and save. And I have several of them. There's another little one here. Another one here. Another one here. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Another one here. And then back to the, what I believe is the white pine. All right. So that's all for now. Thanks for joining me here in Lawson Woods, Pacific Northwest. I'm doing my part to help protect and save the environment. And I hope you do too. Ciao. Thanks for joining.